You're gonna pick two cards out of the items, shimmy. Hey? Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> um Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. I don't know how this happened. But I am a pregnant woman. <laughs> what would I need? <laughs> I think this game is kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I got one, but <laughs> I'm talking pregnant about woman. I'm not gonna have fun pitching. A pregnant this. woman, yes. She needs. <laughs> why? Why is Shimmy's picking out his card, Billy? What would I need as a pregnant woman? You will need, <laughs> and that's as another emergency. When the day finally arrives, you will need a clamp sword. <laughs> Please explain how this item works. <laughs> well, we've got to keep the clamp. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> Shimmy, what about you, mate? What have you got? You know what? good in my head, but I don't think I can fucking speak. Shimmy. With, with a sword part, well, it's a clamp sword, so it's got multi uh, I feel like that is going to be extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> the clamps to keep you in place. <laughs> As we cut the umbilical cord of the sword. Oh Sorry, my Christ. God's sake, man. Shimmy, <laughs> please, please, no, Billy, no more, Billy, no, Shimmy, please, okay. just tell me what you've got. And then, pregnant, and then pregnant then lady. Shut up, Billy. <laughs> Shimmy. Right, okay, listen, as a pregnant lady, especially early on into the pregnancy, got okay. this big belly action going on, bladders all to miss, you could be getting still morning sickness and all that stuff, so... <laughs> You need your rest in bed, and you don't want to be getting up and going to the outhouse because it is old western times. The outhouse there, is it? be sick, to have a wee, do your business. So what you need to do is stay into bed, right? But yep. I want to sell you this new invention now. Bed vase. I love how your cards are always the wrong way around. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Bed vase, vase bed. The bed vase. All right. Or I'm vase, gonna guess. Depending on how you raise. Vase. Bed vase. Bed vase, right? Basically, you just there's a little secret pillow square that you pull out of the bed, and you slip in the vase, put your pillow square back in, yeah, and you're loaded. Now, the square where the vase is located is direct. You can move it about directly be below your ass, mm -hmm. and then you can remove the square in the night, do your business, put the square back in, and go back to sleep without leaving the comfort of your nice cozy bed. Not waking your husband up, you know, if you've got one, you could have been a stripper who didn't use the, the chocolate foam um, and, and scared the punters away. I was left with this baby, so there you go, you've got a, a nice bed vase. It's cheap, it's versatile, it's washable, so you'll need one. You don't have to keep buying new ones and waste them and stuff like that. In other words, you've made a bedpan. Yes. <laughs> it's a bed vase, it's a lot deeper and safer than a bedpan. The problem here is. I can't go with the clam sword, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I've got to give it to Shimmy. Because even though he's made a bedpan, <laughs> I can't go with a clam sword. Why not? Oh god, you know why not. <laughs> so, yeah, Shimmy. American beauty is Shimmy nice wins. and friendly, happy chap. Yay, I win. The moment I flip them cards over, I realise how much of a terrible mistake I made. <laughs> what was in your mind when you did that? I was like, oh yeah, you could do this and do that. And I said, and I Speak, wait a minute. Like, oh my god, you could do this and this. <laughs> right, okay. Um, guys, pick out your uh, four, two item cards first. You shuffle. I've already shuffled. Bam. <sighs> and then it's Shimmy's turn to be the one we're pitching to. God. Um. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go oh well Vadim, so I'm gonna go soldier. Oh soldier. Yeah. Soldier. He's got no top. His tits out. Yeah. I can get that. There we go. <sighs> Is there a sword in this one, Billy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, show me who's so <laughs> Go with it, but let Billy come up with a good story this time, so we'll go with GD. Okay, fair enough. Right, now as a soldier, you're on the uh, front line, um, probably far away in the Far East, uh, the the Middle East, sorry, uh, fighting battles. And you're Not missing your... the Japanese, are we? You're fighting, you might be. Jungles. <laughs> we don't know what happens there. Um, uh, but, but you're missing your family, aren't you? But more importantly, you most of the time, you're a true... You're a true you love your sports, don't you? So that's why I have you got do. you the perfect item um, for a, a strong, awesome soldier person like yourself. And that is why I introduce you the football phone. It's basically a, a, a very strong, versatile phone that you can use anywhere in the world to talk to your family and friends without the problems of some stupid person trying to hack your phone. Plus, you have the great awesomeness of it being a a football, so you can play some sports on your um, low time while you're out there. Enjoy it with some of your friends. I introduce you the football fan. <laughs> right, thank you very much. No that problem. has absolutely nothing to do with Soldier. <laughs> Next is Billy. It's a phone. You can talk to your family. <laughs> well, I have no family. Oh. <laughs> As a soldier. You've been in a lot of hostile situations. You're going to need a time to rest. You're going to need a place safe. I present to you the Rock House. <laughs> and it's as, exactly as cool as that sounds. It's a, just a rock. <laughs> it's a house made of rocks to completely protect you from all threats. Our tall house is made of rocks. <laughs> but this one rocks. Bricks. On bricks, just rocks. <laughs> if I am out, and like. In case enemies come in contact, you can throw the rocks and kill them with it. You're throwing what bricks at people now! Yeah. <laughs> He's made a house. <laughs> Billy has basically made a brick house, which we already have. He's made a house! And GD's made something for an American football that an American football player would love. Come on. Come on, Gosh, it's it's not, no, you got to think here. It may say football there. But it could be a, a football, as in a British football. Everyone I'm, loves a football. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link soldier. Um, I'm gonna link Billy's as a bunker and give it to Billy. <sighs> yep. Ah, fair enough. We'll take my uh, awesome um, football phone. What's he flips it? <laughs> No, take that from. Do you want to do it? You do it. <laughs> you need to learn, Billy. <laughs> learn, Billy. Yes, this is called Tabletop Simulator. Um, it is a game. Yeah, it's a game. We are playing Snake Oil. Shuffle, shuffle, oh shuffle, yeah. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. It's actually quite fun. And I've worked with a pregnant woman with a clamp sword. Yeah, he has. <laughs> <laughs> Right. right, let's do this. Billy, you picked two. Oh, there you go. And now you pick two oh, jobs. Oh, they're 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 just they're house and fun. I'm I did a... shuffle them. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can pull them back in if you want. Uh, flip them first. <laughs> oh my goodness! It won't be a freaking day. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what are you doing? Where's it gone? You've given it to me! Take one, Billy. <laughs> one second. <laughs> Shuffle it. There we go. 
Shuffle them, yeah. So I hope you get them again. <laughs> right, pick two uh, two job cards, mate. Is that me? Yes, yeah, your turn. All right. What does an astronaut need? Sex with aliens. I know what an astro needs. Talk to me. Right, who do you want to go first, mate? Uh, Shimmy. Right, as an astronaut, there's one thing you need to remember out in space. There's no gravity. Well, there is, it's just not very strong when you're floating between the planets. Wait, it's no longer here, you mean. And your spaceship doesn't have any gravity, so you can fly away from it. Or if you land on a planet that has low gravity, you might float away. So you need to make sure you've got a good set of shoes on. It's still right. the wrong world. <laughs> no, you need a good set of shoes on, but you need something in those shoes to make your grip. And I give you a nail shoe. Yep. Each shoe has got 186 nails on the bottom. So it's four tells inches long. Yep. Every step you take keeps you anchored. You don't float away. Anywhere you go, it goes through any surface and keeps you gripped and stops you from flying away out into that space where you will well, your ultimate demise. Someone, someone tells me here you don't understand how gravity works, Shimmy. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, yeah. So, um, I, so once I'm ne once my ne my shoes are now to the surface, how am I going to get at? <laughs> they're, not, they're not screws, Billy, so you can just pull them back up with every step. He's not that powerful. <laughs> yeah. just, you're just, you're just pushing. They're like golf shoes, but or football boots, but they're, they're a lot longer. Quick question. So you've now made up. football boots. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you that first sort of the concept. Bedpan, and now <laughs> you're doing <laughs> football boots. <laughs> but what's all the sports? <laughs> it's not. It's, it's to do with astronauts. It stops you floating away. What's when you're working on your spaceship, it keeps you gripped to the spaceship. Okay, what's your duty? Right, quick question. You're in space quite a lot. Now, uh, people know that if you're in space, your um, bones start to deteriorate because you haven't got gravity helping you, right? Okay, helping your so bones not help, deteriorate. Well, well, helping your bones. By the time that you come back on Earth, you feel weak, don't you? So, what what is the best thing for your bones? And that is calcium, isn't it? Now... The problem with calcium, it's usually milk in it, that if you took milk into space, it would go everywhere. Come on, it's, it's a horrible mess. So that's why I have the perfect invention for you. It is called the milk bag. <laughs> going to be the milk shovel again. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a bag that is still tight, where you can just drink your milk perfectly from a little nozzle. That basically that's stops just a it. carton? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> the milk is the milk is. You in just the bag. invented the milk carton. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and he can't drink it because he's got his freaking helmet on. Dude, he's not actually in space. He's in the state. He's in his space um, station. He's not drinking the milk out in space, is he? <laughs> he's just floating it. He's not just being shot up into space on his own, and he's just floating there all the time. He's in a well, spaceship. He, he wouldn't be floating if he had the nail shoes. He won't be able to move if you had the nail shoes. <laughs> They're not the screw shoes. We, we invented them and they were horribly wrong. People were screwing themselves to objects and couldn't get the feet Screwing propelled. themselves over. <laughs> screwing themselves oh. over. A nail shoe offers smooth transition now, from every step. Now, the great thing about the milk bag is you don't have to just have milk. You can have any kind of liquid in there. You could have water. You could have a milkshake. Strawberry. Nice. But it's like when, also, bags when you go to like Vietnam or Cambodia yeah, and they give yeah. you like alcohol in a bag. You can <laughs> also store. get bourbon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's what's better? Being in space and having a drunk <laughs> being drunk, man. That would probably be the how, best how thing ever. Bags? Is it is it five P for a little one and six P for a bag for life? <laughs> <laughs> That's the great thing. Because you're in space, you do not have to pay that charge as well. So it is usually for the bag is free. You just have to pay uh, for the. How uh, are you salesman by giving away a free bag? Of oh no milk. no no! We're selling the actual liquid inside of it. 
still on the liquid inside of it. Yeah, so the, the, well, you, we, well, the thing is, we're not, we can't give it because it's got to be sealed because he's in space. You don't want it going everywhere. So we have to sell the actual liquid inside the bag to for him to drink out there. So the liquid is already in the bag. I'm totally confused with the milk bag. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's a great idea. It is if, you, if you're a toddler. Well, like I said, milk. I won't give. Be honest, I would give toddlers whiskey, but I, 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 I'm, I'm different. Yeah, you can put any kind of liquid in there. It just doesn't just have to be milk. It's just we our pattern is milk because it's the best to see how it works. We can't really use water because you can't really see water inside the bag because it looks like just a clear bag of beer. All I'm saying is if you buy the nail shoe, then I've got five wins and the game ends. Well, that's a good fucking pitch there. <laughs> <laughs> we can end this nightmare. Right. Uh, I'm going to do You're going with I'm me? I'm still in it to win it. You're still in it to win it? Yay! <laughs> so, so is it mine? We're both just... yeah. Yay! I mean, they're both terrible, but he's going to have milk it. bag. <laughs> the nail shoe. <laughs> nail shoe. <laughs> well, it keeps you bloody... It doesn't. <laughs> it keeps you breaking your space station with every step. <laughs> no. <laughs> Holes everywhere. I really need this to end to go to bed. All right. <laughs> okay, it's my turn anyway. <sighs> So. We'll just end it at this round, regardless who. Like, so yeah. Chimmy's basically won anyway, but I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, I can't win it. <laughs> it's for yeah. that. Right. So, um, okay, perfect. I am a couch potato. <laughs> couch potato. A couch potato. Okay then. What would I want to be in a couch potato? You would want, right? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Don't shimmy. Wait. Oh, okay. Couch potato, yeah? Never yeah. leaves his couch. Of course. I think he doesn't want to do is go to the fridge for some food. Yeah, it is kind of annoying. He's got to get up. And on the television, you see lots and lots of delectable items on adverts. Especially Marks and Spencer's. Mm. Teasers. <laughs> we have a special invention here. No matter if it's a lovely snack or a sexy woman. Ooh. Everything you take a picture with the chocolate camera. Yeah. <laughs> take a picture with the chocolate camera. And kind of in a Willy Wonka style faction, uh, fashion, the camera is like a Polaroid, so it prints things off below it. You take a picture, and an actual scaled model in chocolate of what you take a picture of comes out the bottom for you to eat and enjoy. It has to be chocolate. It has to be chocolate, yeah, but you can load up different flavours of chocolate. <laughs> so, in other words, your ba the picture will print it out as chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> Well, it won't print a picture, it'll print an actual object itself. Well, it would be made out of chocolate. <laughs> it would be made out of chocolate, uh, of, of flavouring and, and density of your choice. Right, so, um, Billy, what have you got to try and sell to me the well, couch potato? Well, <laughs> as you said, couch potato doesn't want to get up. No, I don't. He needs a balloon to take his syringe to him. <laughs> what syringe. the fuck? Like Billy, insurance. seriously, you're making it difficult. <laughs> 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 now you can pump yourself with uh, food. And then you'll have to eat it, you have to swallow it, you don't have to get up. You can just be completely lazy, watch your TV, no regrets, just syringe. So, so one minute, is a syringe full of food? It's a syringe, it's a syringe meal. So you just pump that in. So what's with the balloons? You've had a <laughs> Don't let it float conveniently towards you. You don't have to. I don't. Out. To be honest, I don't trust the idea of a needle attached to a balloon <laughs> floating slowly towards well, that's, me. But well, that's that's the beauty of it. You don't even have to make the effort to uh, like syringe yourself. The syringe can come to you and. <laughs> it gets you in the eye or something. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> <Just> terrific. 
<laughs> that was as bad as the clamp sword. <laughs> you are evil. <laughs> Hi, anyway, I'm me... Billy Wiz, the inventor of the balloon syringe and the clam sword. <laughs> God. <laughs> Buy my products. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. You can have pizza syringe. <laughs> you don't want a pizza syringe. I don't like the idea of a syringe. Oh, quick question. Does that mean that we've got a bunch of balloons with syringes <laughs> flying around us? Yes. <laughs> Think of them as cuddly bees floating. <laughs> there you go, Shimmy. Just, just take it. <laughs> oh my god, mate. So much. Oh, well done, Shimmy. You win. Oh, no offense, it wasn't. Was oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, my balloon syringe. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, guys. Great job. Anyway, that is... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Come back. Come back. Damn, this table is high up. I enjoyed that. Enjoyed that. Anyway. It was stupid, but I enjoyed it. It was stupid. Yeah. It was I was really annoyed that I didn't get to use my Illuminati card. <laughs> you had an Illuminati card? I had a Sharpie card. I had, at one point, I had shoe bomb. <laughs> you had a billionaire. This car, if I had the Illuminati card, then the you'd have an Illuminati. Illuminati you'd have, wallet. You'd have, you'd have an Illuminati ring. Hmm. I would have given you the Sharpie paper. It's just like <laughs> a Sharpie, but we're on paper. <laughs> you just that print would, it on someone's face. That would confirm you for Illuminati. Yeah. And you know, I've been in there's love for Illuminati. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining uh, me for this uh, CTG Games Night. I um, have what are you doing? Stop putting the wood down. <laughs> um so uh, guys thank you for watching this as well um we i think do you think we should do this for as a weekly thing guys yeah yeah, yeah. different games different yeah i think different games different times so you can join us um uh, people who are watching this on youtube um on the stream you can watch this it will be streamed on youtube and twitch um so on sundays Unless, of course, if it's like a bag, uh, a holiday or something like that. Um, starting from half eight, um, pretty much every night. Um, we usually will tell you what game we're going to be playing the on Twitch on that day. So keep an eye out that you can... Uh, not Twitch, on Twitter on that day. You can find that on at Crave Your Game. Um, but uh, yeah, this was uh, Snake Oil. Uh, you can pick it up at any um, known... Uh, board game any what what do you call them shops board game shops board game shops any board game shops or go online you can find it there and uh, there will be a link for people who are watching this on youtube below where you can find a cop where you can get um snake oil from uh we do highly recommend you pick this up because this is a great game especially for a bunch of people great and creative at the same time you can get some stupid things like for example the clamp sword and the chocolate camera and mm -hmm. shoppy paper. <laughs> okay. New from JML. New from JML. These Bloom are strange. Are we having nightmares about that? I expect to see these with JML. <laughs> Hi, this is the Kurt Chocolate oh, Camera. Barry Scott. Have you seen <laughs> the balloons? <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us. We will. I've be never been stabbed in the eye quick enough. <laughs> bang! Dude, the eyeball's dude. gone. Yeah, bang! And the balloon's gone. Oh, oh. shit! She's going to us. <laughs> Are you a couch potato? Do you get bored of standing up and fetching you your items? Introducing you to the balloon string. Str <laughs> okay. String. Str string. <laughs> Syringe. String. String. Right, bloody hell, I'm going. Uh, so, like I said, guys, thank you for joining us. Ah, you can't flip the table. Oh, really? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Billy. You need a balloon to lift that table up. So, guys, say yeah. goodbye to the pe nice people at home. <laughs> bye bye everyone. Bye, bye everybody. Bye bye. See ya. Love you bye. Love you bye. Love you bye. And I am a billionaire. So what would a billionaire want in the void? I know what a billionaire would want. Alright, you can go first if you want to mate. A billionaire would want something. Right. So, first of all, sir, you're going to have lots of money. Yeah? Yeah. To keep that money safe, you need, you don't need a bank account, you don't need a wallet, you need the money bottle. 
<laughs> right. Stick that money in the bottle, and no greedy people, greedy Jews, can stick the fingers oh, in the bottle and take Jesus. out your money.